I sat before my glass one day and conjured up a vision bare. Unlike the aspects, glad and gay, that erst were found reflected there, the, the vision of a woman, wild, with, with more than womanly despair. <sighs> Hello? Hello, you know, I'd really recommend that you slow down a little bit. You're mumbling, and your posture is shit. You see, no one's gonna listen to you if you just say the words very cleanly. You have to add dynamics and range so people listen to you. Mick, the words sound stupid coming out of my mouth. They have this entire time. This was not a good idea. What are you saying? Of course this was a good idea. You just need to practice more. Let me, let me listen to you practice. How's that? No, no, I'm not ready. And I just don't get it. I mean, what the fuck is up with these brainless exams? Why the hell do I need to know how to derive the local maximum of a reciprocal when all I want is to be a writer? Hey, fuck em. If I were you, I'd just drop out. No, I can't do that. You know, I'm really glad that I finally found you so that I can actually have someone relatable in my life. I tried to tell Mick about us, but he just doesn't get it. He thinks that I'm sick. He told me to see a doctor. He doesn't need to know. Yeah, I guess there are some things that he just can't understand. Okay, just listen. I mean, I think we should go to the bridge after school today and talk. I mean, you should be seeing someone about this. It's not normal to talk to your reflection. Just leave me alone, okay? I'm fine. Come on, I get that he's worried about me and all, but... He's been all over me lately. Why can't he just leave me alone for a second? <laughs> you know, it seems like he maybe is the one who needs some help. I mean, come on. The kid is obsessed with you. Uh, no, he's not. <laughs> yeah, okay, so we're just gonna pretend that this guy's not creepy? He's so obsessed with you. He's been all over you for ages. Come on. I'm starting to get some rapey vibes from him at this point. <laughs> you know what? Mick has always been a great friend, and he will always be a great friend. I'm beginning to think that maybe it's you who doesn't have my best interests in mind. I sat before my glass one day and conjured up a vision bare. Unlike the aspects, glad and gay, that earths were found reflected there. The vision of a woman wild, with more than womanly despair. Her lips were open, not a sound, came through the parted lines of red. Whatever it was, that hideous wound, in silence and secret blood, 